Another major area of failure for the diesel engines are because of higher injection pressures, we're starting to see more and more piston failure just like this. Now, what used to be 18,000, 20,000 PSI pressure, we're actually seeing double that today. In the modern diesel engines that we're seeing for the 2020 power stroke engines, you're actually seeing injection pressures as high as 36,000 PSI. Now that can create a lot of problems, and that's some of the reasons why the piston designs have changed so much over the years. Now with this engine we see, this is a particular engine is a 6.4 liter. This is something that's pretty common, and we see it with guys that are running maybe tuners or higher injection pressures and higher cylinder pressures. So most folks would look at this and determine that this to be cause of failure would be a piston actually cracking. But if you really look hard, you can actually see in this area, which is known as a re-entrant style bowl, this lip actually forces the combustion gases down past what we call the witch's hat and then back through and then it reverses rotation. When it reverses the direction, it actually sustains uh, in this area and, and actually creates a, uh, an area for much more heat load. Now with this added heat load, because it reverses rotation, it dwells longer in this pocket here and creates a hot spot on the piston. Once that hot spot's created because of the, re the reverse flow from the lip, what happens is, is this failure point is prevalent. It creates a blowtorch type effect. And you can see that with a smooth area right here on this piston. Once that, that pinhole develops, it's just a matter of time before the failure takes place. What we do is machine our pistons with the different area in this lip. Now this allows uh, better extraction for the heat in those areas right there. Also, we offer a coating, uh, a polyfin style coating, that allows the heat to remain in the combustion chamber instead of on the piston. Because of this, we, better, we have better fuel efficiency and we have better protection of that piston in certain areas. What you're looking at here are the fly cut areas of the piston. This is obviously for uh, camshafts that we'll use. Again, for we've worked specifically with comp cams to develop a, a camshaft that has low shock technology, and microsurface enhancement. Now what that does is, is that decreases the uh, failure rate of the lifters. Instead of having a high velocity on the seat that closes at an accelerated rate, we're able to use a crack and wax style camshaft and that crack and wax style camshaft keeps the valve train loaded so that the vibrations and the harmonics are much less than what they would be from the factory uh, grind on the camshaft.